Coming into this past weekend, we knew that both Mikey Garcia and Sergei Kovalev were good, but we didn't know that they were this good. Both men had the pedigree and the visible, tangible skills, but neither had their defining moment as a professional until Saturday night. On NBC Sports Fight Night, Kovalev came in as an underdog in the main event against former world champion Gabriel Campillo. Now, Campillo was considered by some to be one of the two best light heavyweights in the world, while Kovalev's best wins had come over Lionel Thompson and Darnell Boone. When the bell rang, it was Campillo who was well out of his depth, seldom landing a punch in the first two rounds while eating a healthy diet of power shots from Kovalev. In the third, the Russian powerhouse floored the former champ three times and immediately positioned himself as one of the world's best fighters at 175. With a pair of scintillating performances on NBC Sports, and now a promoter in main events that has some pull and TV dates in their back pocket, don't be surprised to see Kovalev get a crack at someone like WBA titleist Bybut Shumanov in the very near future. Now, over on HBO, Mikey Garcia finally got a chance to put his world-class skills on display against another world-class operator in Orlando Salido. In doing so, he made the number one ranked featherweight in the world look utterly flummoxed. Garcia sent Salido to the canvas twice in round one and again in rounds three and four. With an insurmountable lead on the scorecards, Garcia suffered a broken nose as a result of an accidental headbutt in the eighth round, resulting in a one-sided technical decision. Now, Salido says he was mounting a comeback at the time of the stoppage, demanding a rematch, and Garcia seems happy to oblige, but the result in the second meeting appears to be a foregone conclusion. With the win, Garcia is now the Ring Magazine featherweight champion and the only man other than Chris John who has any legitimate claim of being the best in the division. But if a fight between Garcia and John were to materialize, I don't know anyone who would be picking John after that destruction on Saturday night.